Hello, welcome to the Salesforce CPK video training session. In this video, I'll be talking about the uh, another type of the product rule called the filter. And uh, apparently that will be used only in the dynamic bundle. So whatever I can call it as a dynamic bundle session. So the scenario is like uh, if you have a bundle uh, whose product can be increased over the period of time. So uh, that shouldn't be a overhead of the Salesforce CPQ administrator to add those as a product option uh, every time uh, whenever there, there is a new product introduced in the group. So to get rid of this uh, additional configuration every time what you can do you can configure the dynamic bundle so inside dynamic bundle uh, the product options are not static it will be a uh, dynamic and those can be added i mean the product can be added by another team but those will be available inside your bundle at any point of time as soon as they get added it will reflect into your dynamic bundle so let's get started with this first uh, let me go to the product so he uh, i have configured one more product here uh, genvat and uh, if you look at the all products so we have some couple of products here already uh, which is default in for cpq whenever you configure the new all so I utilize the same one. Yeah. So here is the product options. I mean, here is the product uh, that is going to be part of my dynamic bundle. Uh, to do that, what I have done, I have created, uh, I have assigned them to product family called hardware. And my intention here is to utilize them into dynamic bundle. So my dynamic bundle will be based on the product family hardware. So Whenever somebody adds the product into the master list and if they assign the product family is equal to hardware, those products will be automatically available inside my bundle into the Kotlin editor. So first thing you need to update the all possible products with their product family. So I mean you can use any field but for this demo I have used the product family as the field for to filter the record. So you can create your own field is not necessary to uh, use the existing one and I have created one more product and that will be used as the bundle so as you can see here I haven't created any product option so right now I have zero option to proceed with the dynamic bundle, first thing you need to create a feature inside the bundle. So let's go to the feature first. And create new. Let me call it as a dynamic bundle. Just assigning the ten minimum option. I am keeping as it is one. Yeah, and here is the important setting to do. Like option selection method should be dynamic. We have already seen the click and add. Now we are using the dynamic as the option for option selection method. That's it. I mean, for the product related configuration you need to create a feature and assign the option selection method is equal to dynamic now there was a there is another process to do you need to create a field on product and product options as well so it right now what i have done i have created one more uh, one formula field on the product which will hold the information of the family and written as the text and created the same api name uh, created the same field with the same API name on the product option that is again the mandatory part of part for this uh, functionality so uh, so far I have created one one field on the product object one field on the product option 
then on the product bundle i have added a feature and uh, for that feature i have added dynamic as the option selection method now uh, we need to configure the product rule Let's assign some name to it. Hardware dynamic bundle. Yeah, and here is the important setting. Uh, type must be filter. Make it active. Choose the condition meet all. Let's keep the evolution order 10. Right now, I, I don't have other product really in my order. Scope should be product because this product rule is going to be executed within the bundle. Set the evolution event as the always. Now go to the related. You need to set the configuration rule as well. So that was the our product and uh, within that you need to set the feature so we have already built one feature inside the genvat product let's select it dynamic bundle and anything else let no so uh, the configuration rule has been set and now it's time to add the action And uh, for dynamic filter, the type for the product action should be default filter. And we are not setting up any product here. Let's choose the filter field. So basically this is the field which I have created on the product and product option as well. And you need to go to the object setup and you have to update this pick list or filter field and you need to update the api name of that field here so i have done this already so the product family should equal hardware that's it so all all the setup is done let's see how it will reflect on the code line editor Let me re relaunch this. This is my complete new walk, so this is my first quote here. Now go to the edit lines. Click on add products. So here is the my product, GenVac. Select it. Okay, so now you can see here uh, the feature is uh, displaying here called dynamic bundle. And since I did not add any product options for this bundle, uh, it is not available here. But uh, using the product rule uh, on this feature, product rule with the type of filter, now the add options button are populating here. So as soon as you click on the add option, so all the product with, with that family called hardware is going to be displayed here. So now you can add a number of, I mean, whatever the product that you want to select to the code. So once you click on add, it will be available inside that feature. You can again go back to the add option and 
you can look for other product option as well click on add so this is how dynamic bundle works so let's go back to the product and uh, just make a clone of the existing one and let's see whether that is reflect into our bundle or not Let's clone this. Make it five thousand. And I'm keeping the product family as a hardware. So the product name is Genuine Gasoline, five thousand kg. Let me just verify with the price book entry. All right. So uh, as you have seen, like I have added one more product into the same family called hardware, and uh, since we have built the dynamic bundle uh, as a CPQ admin, I do not need to go and update the product option. Ideally, it, this new product should be available to select inside the dynamic bundle of the Gen Genvet product. So let's see in the code. Let's go back again. to the gen web click on add option yeah so here you can see the product option is now uh, this product as a product option available to select in the dynamic bundle so this is how you made configuration and uh, it allows sales rep to select the product dynamically and uh, this will definitely reduce the overhead of the uh, uh, overhead of the CPQ admin and uh, anyone uh, who can who manage the products they can easily import and uh, whatever the predefined field they just need to set it up and those will be available inside the dynamic bundle thank you